I don't think he would have jumped if Vince McMahon still had total control of the company. I, I agree with that. If made the merger, I think he would have been loyal to Vince. That's just my feeling. All right, guys, I know I'm telling you old news. You know this by now. Edge, or Adam Copeland, has joined AEW, came out, uh, made his debut, and the place went nuts, as you would expect. He also made a comment during a press conference that he felt free, uh, fresh. You know, that he actually was able to get that individual feel again about wrestling that all wrestlers have. Because when when you're a wrestler or a performer, you kind of have an idea of who you want to be and what you want the story to be. And in some cases, you don't always have the option to kind of tell that story. And now he's in a situation, it appears, with AEW, where just like Daniel Bryan, he can kind of write his own stories throughout this uh, tenure with AEW. Well, the other thing, too, I think uh, congratulations to Ed, you know, and I got to quit thinking uh, that I think people are thinking the same way that I think. You know, my thing is, you know, uh, the I'm, I'm out of it. I'm happy. I had a great run. I don't want to be, you know, if I, they call me sometime, but if they don't, I don't care. I ain't looking for no job. So I'm thinking that Edge, with all the time he's put in, plus with the bumps and all that wear and tear on the body and plus the surgery that, you know, once he had a chance to, you know, get away, you know, he take that time and just enjoy it. But, you know, uh, if it's in his blood, and like I said, I've always said, every man has a price. So, now, now so. Edge did make a comment uh, because he caught hell from some of the fans out there saying, oh, he's a traitor. He left WWE. No. And, it, you know, it's, it gets ridiculous to the point where he actually left a tweet out. And this is just part of the tweet. This is really the meat of it here. X. And he's, X. It, yeah, on X. I'm sorry. Yes, X. Uh, and he said, quote, I don't buy into this odd mentality of one company over another. It's weird. If you take offense to that, take a walk, get some fresh air, soak up some sunshine. It's wrestling. It's an amazing gig, but still, it's wrestling. Relax. It's, 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 it's supposed work. to be fun. It's entertainment. Yes. yes. Keep in mind, though. Keep this in mind, okay? So you have Edge now and Christian, who he's known since they were teenagers, are in the same company. So now, when you talk about WWE, you always think the dressing room leader was The Undertaker. I think that Edge, and I've mentioned this in an X tweet, is at the top of the ladder of respect, just like Undertaker, and that the talent in AEW will look to he and Christian together as two guys with one great mind, so to say, to help guide that company further. Okay, I'm going to be the devil's advocate, and I'm going to say something here, and and I know I'm, and you see the hat I'm wearing, so guys, just let me say it. Having said that, Bill, that he's going to be looked at as a locker room leader, you know how many other guys have been in that locker room that those guys have not listened to so far? So what's going to make Edge any different than the ones before him? He's a legend. He's a legend. Sam Uh, Buck was not a legend. He is, but he's known for that uh, short fuse. Edge is just that. Well, <clears throat> I think, you know, I don't think, you know, they're going to look so much as the Edge. You know, they've got like other other great people there, too. And I love Jake Roberts. And Jake Roberts is there, you know what I mean? And Jake Roberts is another guy, you know, that thinks like me. He's, you know, relaxed and he, he's happy now. He just wants to live the rest yeah. of his life and give back to the business. So, you know, with people like Jake there, you know, he, you know, Jake will make good decisions. Jake knows how to sit down and get along with people. He knows how to talk to the guys. Uh, you got Ron Anderson who's there, you know what I mean? Great guy, you know what I mean? So there are people right there that the, the talent can certainly go to. But, I mean, if Edge has something to say, I'm pretty sure somebody will take the time to listen. But, yeah, yeah. You but know, I still I, go back Jake, to the fact that you hear a lot I'm of the sorry. guys uh, in the back that will say, the younger guys aren't listening. They, there's this more of a mentality of, "Hey, I, I appreciate you're here, but I've got it," you know. Well, but they I, will I, to I, Edge. They will listen to Edge because he's more of, a, even though he's older, he's more of a current guy to them. Jake Roberts is great, but Edge said he's going to be there every week, every yeah, week, full time. Jake is yeah. there periodically, so I, I don't know. I just, to me, I think that uh, having Edge there is going to bring the uh, the whole the, the whole feeling of the guys in the dressing well, room. I there. certainly think it would boost the morale. Yeah. I, I certainly right, hope so. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, 
Go ahead. Let me ask you both a question because I asked this on Twitter X. Um, WWE got Jade Cargill. She hasn't started yet. Okay. Right. AEW. Let's make this like in terms of baseball. So AEW in this trade, WWE has got Jade Cargill. AEW gets Edge and RVD. So who is better off in that trade? Uh, if, if what you want the honest opinion. Yes. No. Uh, the, the, one that, the one that's better off is WWE because they got a young talent that has more uh, time that they can make money from. Whereas uh, your time with people like Christian and you know some of the older guys, their time is limited. So you, you know, it depends on how much you want to invest in something that's already been proven or invest in some young talent that you can build through your company. And that's how I look at it. Just from a business standpoint is how I'm looking at it. So, What do you think, Teddy? Uh, I think they're better off in WWE, and the reason I say that because of uh, you know that, that, like Max says, I agree with one thing. You know, they got a lot of time there. You know, see if they're young, and so they got you know I mean they can get a lot out of them. When I feel like you say, Mac Edge and certain guys like that, their time is limited. You know, because of you know the, the surgeries and different stuff. Yeah. But uh, I think you know Jay Cargill, they had her. AEW had her. They just didn't didn't know what to do. I'm not I'm not gonna say they didn't know what to do. They did know what to do. Maybe they just didn't want to do it. So I think it was better for her to get in WWE. She's gonna be used right now. They're gonna make her a big star, man. So uh, I, I mean I don't see how you could let you know let her get away. But you know that's that's another story. And WWE desperately needed somebody like Jade too. They needed somebody because I, I think I've said this before. The problem with Charlotte is. She doesn't have many people she can wrestle. She's already beat them all. I just beat my light down. But she's already beat them all. So having Jade come in, uh, someone of her caliber against uh, Charlotte at one point, that's a great match just waiting to happen. And they're believable yeah, I, I because they look with, similar. I want to see her against Rhea Ripley. I think that's that's the money match. Well, I want to see her with Nia Jack. How about, how about Edge? Who do you want to see Edge with? Or, I'm sorry, well, Adam Copeland. He's, he's going to be uh, teaming probably uh, with uh, with Sting um, uh, in a, in a, in a six-man. I don't know who the, the other guy is going to be yet, but I have a feeling that uh, um, Edge is going to be – he's not going to be wrestling as much as microphoning and going against Christian in various tag team matches. Yeah. I think fans will go crazy – crazy seeing sting and edge together oh yeah when they shook hands in the ring when he debuted uh that was a big pop uh you know yeah, people yeah. they knew what they were watching right there yeah. uh you know i edge to me uh I, I think is a good ad for aew i think it's probably one of the better hires they've had in quite some time yes. uh in his value i agree I, he even talked about and i said this earlier about how much he enjoyed being there and how it felt if you saw the video package when he first came out in the car going down, uh, you know, through this kind of uh, uh, alleyway or something, it looked dark and mysterious. He made a comment after the fact. He filmed that. He was hanging out of a car, hanging on. Somebody was kind of hanging on to him as he was hanging on to the car to get those shots. That didn't happen in WWE. That's how involved he is and what he wants to get across in AEW. And it makes those creative juices just start flowing. So somebody like Edge, perfect for AEW, as long as they don't screw it up. And I hope they don't. I don't think he would have gone. I don't think he would have jumped if Vince McMahon still had total control of the company. I, I agree with that. If he made the merger, I think he would have been loyal to Vince. That's just my feeling. 